Hey everybody, it's Brandon Brashears. In this video, we're gonna talk about instant experiences and how to set them up. They were formerly called Canvas on Facebook. They are very cool ad formats and pieces of content. So let's get into this video. All right, everybody, how's it going? It's Brandon Brashears from the Digital Marketing Madman channel. I wanna say thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, if you like digital marketing, be sure to subscribe here. I release daily marketing videos about all kinds of paid traffic and content marketing and just everything marketing and analytics. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about instant experiences. Now, Facebook has released these new kind of ad formats called instant experiences, and I really like them for a few reasons. I've been testing them um, for both e-commerce clients, uh, clients that sell um, educational products, clients that sell services, and I think that they're really cool. They used to be called canvases, and canvases were a good idea, but the application wasn't as good as we have now. So the good way to think about instant experiences are they're basically like landing pages that are native inside of Facebook. You can use Business Manager to incorporate product catalogs. You have to have Business Manager in order to create product catalogs, but you can incorporate these into Facebook ads. So let's jump into the computer here, and I will show you exactly what I mean by instant experiences. We'll talk about how to set them up, um, kind of some best uses for them, and really what I've found is, is really cool about these. So once you get to a place where you can manage your page, you're going to be able to um, go and edit an instant experience and create it. An instant experience, again, is kind of like a landing page that's built inside of Facebook. So you can do all kinds of cool things with this. So for example, um, if you, when you go to your page, you're going to then click the Publishing Tools button. And then once Publishing Tools loads, you're gonna scroll down here to Instant Experience Canvas. And so you can create um, Canvas ads here, then it can be used as a post or as an ad. The way that you do it, you name it, typically you name something um, helpful. So for example, let's call this a new client intake form or new client offer, for example. And then we have components. We have buttons, we have forms, store locators, uh, headers, which is just a color and with the logo, um, videos and carousels and, and things like that that are pretty cool. I'll show you some examples here of ones that I've built that have worked out pretty well and they're they're pretty cool. So typically I like to start out with a text block. When you create an ad for this, and I'll show you what that looks like here, but you're going to have So I just you know, put in a component here. I'll upload a photo, right? So you can put pictures and, and all kinds of cool things inside of here. If you wanted to do a video that was like a video sales letter, you could put one in here. Um, you could do testimonial videos, text blocks. I really like the carousels for the um, you know purpose of putting in product features. Uh, and I find that that works pretty cool. So you're gonna stack this up and build it. And let's go and I'm gonna show you one that's finished. But the, the one thing that um, when you're doing a lead form, it, it doesn't, it's not supported on uh, Instagram. So you can't use lead forms on Instagram, uh, but you can use it on Facebook, which is cool. So um, the lead forms are all editable here. And these forms then get put into your instant experience. You can download the contacts, or if you use Zapier or another program, you're gonna be able to um, get that information put automatically into your CRM. So that's really cool. But you can ask for phone number, you can ask for um, either a short answer or multiple choice, and that gets input into wherever you want it to go, or you'll be able to manually export that. So no matter what you're doing, um, you're gonna be able to, to get whatever data that you need with this lead form. Now with lead forms, it's super duper important that you're having follow up quickly because these leads are typically not, not the best quality just because they're so easy to opt in that a lot of times you'll get people who are not 100% committed. So um, make sure that your follow up and specifically call if you get phone numbers you need to call because your open rates are probably going to be pretty low um, on lead forms. It's just been my, my personal experience. It depends how you qualify it. One thing that I like to do if I want to get more high quality is that these are going to auto populate these auto choices here, the email, full name and the phone number. But if you want them to actually have to input it and type it in, which will hopefully be their most up-to-date or best email or best phone number, then that will, will be in, in as the case. 
So I'm going to show you some finished examples here of what I did, and they worked pretty cool. So this is an example of a merchandise piece that we did. We have the headline here. We have this image that we created for it um, with the promo code. And then we had uh, linking out um, product carousel so that they could see the different products that were popular that we were selling. And this ad did really, really well. So this is one example here. Um, it's cool because in, in Instagram, uh, it has the same functionality, but it's swipe up to purchase. And so um, they, they look really good. When you're looking at a preview, it's on mobile, um, but you can also make a page post. Now, the reason why I like to start with the headline up here is because when I make a page post with this, you're gonna add a new header. And same thing with a, uh, with a um, well, you can. You can either upload a new image and then it'll expand down and then you'll be able to interact with these elements. Um, or you can use a video, things like that. So I suggest that if you use a video here in this section in your ad, so you're gonna use a video ad, make sure that you don't use the video directly below it because it'll just stack the videos on top of each other and look kind of confusing. So um, that's that's one tip that I think is pretty important. Just don't, don't stack two elements that are exactly the same on top of each other. Um, unless you are specifically designing your funnel to look like that. And here's another example that I built. Um, I really like this one. I haven't run ads for it yet. We're starting them here right now. It's in approval. But with this, this one, I like the elements that we have. We have a headline, a video here, call to action button, um, more information. With the slider here, what we're doing is basically calling out the benefits to them. So I like that we can really you know, talk about benefits here and then the button. So that's the instant experience. When you're creating a an ad, it's actually very simple to then go through and pull this inside of your ad account. So when I'm creating an ad that I'm working with an instant experience, I'm gonna use a traffic ad typically you can also do catalog sales depending if you have the catalog item in there. Um, and you can put catalogs in if you use Business Manager. So just for the sake of this example though, I'm gonna show you how to pull that instant experience that you just built. And so it's going to be, we're gonna go through, we're gonna run our campaigns like normal. We're gonna do our ad sets like normal. And then when we get down to the ad, that's where the Ad identity is going to work out. So we need to put the page. And then right here is what you're going to use as your instant experience. It will pull from the existing ones, or you can go ahead and create a new one that they have there already for you. Um, and so there's, there's the instant experience that we'll have. So we'll, we need to put in a new image. You can use the image that's there right now as well. But when you click this button, it opens up and then you engage with the elements that you've built inside of your instant experience. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments or you need help with anything, please be sure to let me know. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you found value. I do daily marketing videos on this channel. So if you want to get better at marketing, this is the place that you should be hanging out. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you ever have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. I make daily marketing videos on this channel, so um, if you like marketing, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video, everybody. Have a great day.